Hi again. Let's keep in talk about your phone. On the previous clip we learned that when filming, phones lose a big amount of quality. It happens on any device of your choice. I mean, if you use their stock video recording application, you'll get a watercolor. Not kidding. So, doesn't mean we are able to access to real quality using external video recording apps? Big question. The third-party apps bring you a good interface which has manual shooting parameters. We're going to name a few and then conclusions will come. In the market, we can find apps like Filmic Pro, it's very famous, it contains a list of features like selectable gamma profiles and gimbal support. There is also the free open camera application with lots of settings inside, gamma curves for choosing, focus picking, histogram, etc. Or NC Pro 24 FPS, maybe the most complete and advanced in our opinion. There are many others like 3D Cam, all of them providing the setup for a professional capture. One of the best deals on these applications is the chance for the activate the ugly sharpening setting and aggressive noise reduction, we mean the plastic look. It's possible to do it on most devices. Okay, I've disabled the over-processing image settings. I have a set of gamma curves for choosing, so I'm done, let's party! Wee! no so fast! The apps run over a layer inside Android structure called Camera 2 API. This layer is a specific area in the system designed for external media applications. Every Android video application communicates with the machine through this. The manufacturer of device is the writer. He's who decides what's inside this layer, what it's allowed to get, and what. No. So when in a video app we got full expectations for using old camera lenses, or high frame rates, but many times it doesn't happen. And this nothing can be done here by apps because apps cannot write on this locked area. Two solutions, you can write to phone makeup pleading for your request. But this almost never works, sorry. Or just saying A and V can unlock and change this area. Anyway, the most significant thing for us is the quality. We need your attention here. When we shoot video, the camera sensor is capturing light, but have in mind it's a raw signal. Need something inside for translate this signal into a frame. This part of the system is called ISP and is placed in the fundamental area, even above camera to API layer. Here, the raw output is transformed into a plain image, as we do when performing a DNG photo. This is what happens inside this layer. Once it's done, we got the baked image. And you guess who is the chef? Of course, it's the phone maker as well. It's cooking for you. The brands set the ISP, but they taste. And same as camera to API, this layer cannot be modified by user or video apps. Ok, but what hell is inside ISP? ISP holds a wide list of signal processing options, more than you can find on your favorite RAW photo program. You can work the signal, setting and filtering in a very very sophisticated way. Oh, at least we can have faith in brands developers. They will have worked a lot for the best ISP, right? Well... No! In fact, we need to say... Developers of famous brands have built just the 10% of the ISP, or even less.
But also that 10% is bad performed like the ugly sharpening, remember? Because developers are just programmers, not videographers, so they are smashing the camera's potential. Yes, big megapixels numbers, quoted lenses, but after that, they destroy the quality. But good news are, AMVR can also modify ISP but with the vision of a content creator. Do you want to see the difference? Let's go to our testing bank. This complicated scene was sticking on a modded AMVR phone. It's using our native S200 logarithmic curve. Sorry, we will talk about native curves and custom curves in next videos. It's also using enhanced microcontrast, special tone mapping, and high priority encoder tuned inside ISP. Now we move on to Filmic Pro application and its famous Vlog3 custom curve but in a non-moded AMVR phone, so quality is by default. And the last, taken on MC Pro 24fps, with MLog60 custom curved, also on a stock brand phone. Let's go closer. We have graded the shots for better viewing, trying to match them. Have you seen the noise? AMVR phone looks very much better. And the details compression? It makes them blurry. Or the abrupt zero black areas? Has the reality zero black tones? Remember, you can download the samples on the video description. Okay, enough for now. Conclusion on this second video is Pocket devices have a bad image software all around. We think on purpose. And the applications are not the solution because the system isn't accessible. That's why AMVR has won. Because we are not any app, we are a software focused on expert content creators. On the next video, we're going to explain finally who is AMVR, what we do and how we do, how we transform a mobile device in a pocket mirrorless camera. Thanks for coming to the end. Please tap and subscribe. Thumbs up, comment, share it and support us on Patreon. Spread this info. Also check the samples on the description and write us by email or telegram for get AMVR on your beautiful machine. Ciao, bye bye.